Tonight, another Wells Stranding is getting the attention out of a lot of folks who went to Ticks Beach in Virginia Beach. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, is still investigating the third Wells Stranding in a week. As Andy Fox reports, there are still a lot of unknowns on what caused the death of this mammoth at the sea. This is the Petrie Johnson family down here looking at the stranded right whale. They're homeschoolers, and today the lesson is the right whales. Real life science moment. So we just dropped everything we were doing and, and drove up here, and the kids were in the car going like, does this mean we don't have to do school the rest of the day? And I'm like, this is school the rest of the day. This is really neat. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the North Atlantic right whale is generally between 45 and 52 feet and can weigh up to 70 tons. Sadly, the North Atlantic right whale was put on the endangered species list in 1970 and now is considered critically endangered with less than 400 remaining and only 100 breeding females. Former teacher Jim Ferris was out here too. They're endangered and uh, they were called the right whale because that was a the right whale to hunt and they overhunted them and killed them off. Noah confirms that is true and says this whale was not hit by vessel or entangled in fishing gear and says this is the third whale stranded in our area in a week, including this one last Tuesday. The longer we stay out here, the more people show up to watch the right whale. Coming up tonight on Wavy News 10 at 530, trying to figure out exactly what led to the stranding. I'll have that coming up. In Virginia Beach, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.